Hello, join me today as we bike from Stratford through Myland and Whitechapel to Tower Hill and the Bank of England. So stay tuned and there'll be more to come. Okay, we're just at Westfield Shopping Centre. There is Stratford Station, there's guy on a bike. And we're just heading to those bike rentals there. Okay, so let's go and figure it out. Okay, so we're at the bike rental at Stratford Station. For some reason, this is the easternmost one. There's nothing east of here. So I selected higher. It is a dollar, pound 65 for every 30 minutes. And each 30 minutes is a pound 65. And then I do this. I put my card here. There were four, there, higher recycle. It's slow. There were 40 pages of terms and conditions, which I didn't read. Then it gave me this code here, so now I'm going to select my bike. So I was trying to figure out where you put in this code. There's these things here, and those black ones there are the e-bikes, because I was trying to eat those ones, and it kept saying invalid. And for some reason, the Sunday morning, it is completely full, so no one's rented anything out yet. But I'm good, I got my bike. Whoops, so let's head out. And the tyres were good on that one. The other one had a sort of semi-flat tyres. Okay, so let's... <gasps> I'm cycling in London for the first time ever in my life. Actually, no, I lied. I did it when I was a kid. So here you can see the bike lane. I'm trying to get back onto Romford Road and head towards the bow flyover. I just had to come a long way round from the Olympic Park there. I don't know how you connect back from that side. So I made it onto the bike lane, now we're heading to Bow. And all of this is new, none of this was here when I was growing up. This white building was, the rest of it is all brand new. So again, we're at these canals I had no idea about. And over there you can see the Bow flyover, which we're not allowed to go on with bicycles, so we'll be going underneath it. Again, all these buildings are brand new, they did not exist when I was growing up, this is all post Olympics. So you can see the bow fly over there and we'll be going underneath this because bicycles are not allowed on the flyover. Okay, so we're underneath the flyover and the bike has its own separated lane here. This seat is so uncomfortable by the way. So it's not very safe to film while I'm biking, but as you can see, there's a separate bike lane there. The cars are coming out of there, the bike lane. Oh, there's the flyover. Okay, let's go. So this is Tower Hamlets after the bow flyover. Tower Hamlets has better biking infrastructure for some reason. Stratford is in is the start of Newham, and going further east from Stratford, there is no bike rental stations or bike lanes properly set up for some reason. So you can only really go as far as Stratford, then you're pretty much on your own. Yeah, I remember this building from my childhood. And do I have to stop here or can I go? I don't know. I'm gonna go. Another bridge I remember from my childhood. So we're on Mile End Road now, heading towards Whitechapel. The Bow Magistrates Court, you would often hear that on the evening news, that somebody was remanded in custody. And I asked my teacher, what does remanded mean? I thought it meant reminded. Why do they keep reminding them? Bow Road station just got overtaken and as you can see outside Bow Road they have the bike rentals and this they're being used here so going further and we'll see more of these but for some reason Stratford is the last one but a lot of these buildings are being converted into flats but at least they're preserving them so that bridge there I think is either Stepney or Whitechapel I get the names mixed up See what the sign says. Yep, so we're going straight. Oh, Stepney. Okay, so Stepney comes first and then Whitechapel. And we're actually stopped at Milan Station now. I never knew what that dome was growing up, but apparently that's Queen Mary University. My friend went there and here is one of the vintage buses out for a spin. And 
that skyline coming out of London, I do not recognize. That did not exist during my time. There's that vintage bus again. And just on the... Sorry, these people just creep up on me. I was trying to say, there's the Half Moon Theatre, but these people creep up behind me. And I can't really film with one hand. You can't see, there's too many trees in the way. Okay, so there is Stepney's tube station, the red building. And I can just see coming up is the Mile End Cinema, if it still exists. So we'll see. Stay off the bike lanes. Okay, so there is the remnants of what was the Mile End Cinema. So I watched Back to the Future Part 1 here. Can't remember what else, but that was our cinema growing up. Oh, and Teen Wolf, I remember that as well. So normally this would all be Whitechapel Market on a weekday. Someone behind me again. They keep creeping up on me. And I don't have a helmet. Okay, there's the blind beggar on the right hand side and this Barclays, I remember coming here with my dad for an appointment for some reason. I think it was because of his brother. His brother had an account. So I don't know. Chatting with one of the guys at the lights, telling him that none of this existed when I was growing up. All right, so there's Whitechapel Station. I forget where the Whitechapel Library is, there's someone behind me again. And there you can see more of the skyline, which did not exist when I was growing up. So we're about to discover it for the first time. I'm just gonna go. Sorry, I was distracted. This is the Whitechapel Hospital right beside me. I think, what have they changed it to? Tower, Hamlet's Town Hall. Okay, so I guess it's not the hospital anymore. So I'm not paying attention, but you see it's called C2 and this goes in the direction of the city and they're marked here as well. My finger. I think that goes to Bethnal Green. That way there's a nice Tudor building there. Ambala, Pakistan's um, most famous sweet manufacturer, Mithai. So I'll be going back there later. Not today. Don't walk into the bike lane. These things creep up on you. So the East London Mosque, I remember when it opened in the mid 80s. It's a better view of the mosque. I just came here for a selfie. Okay, I can go now. I remember that beeping from my childhood on Woodgrange Road. So lots of tourists here. So growing up, Allgate was a dump. No one would come here. This used to be the Habib Pakistani Bank. It's gone now. So this was the Bengali neighborhood and it was like a ghetto. And now since the 90s, it's become more gentrified because there's more tourists here. The city is encroaching on here. It's very upscale now and we're going to visit Brick Lane. And that's completely changed. And when we were growing up, no one would go to Brick Lane except for the ethnic people. Now it's very touristy, it's even on the tourist maps. Okay, we're at Allgate East Station and the Whitechapel Library. So this is all redeveloped now. It's all part of the centre now. So I think Brick Lane got lost somewhere. I must have missed the turning, or unless it's going to come. Here's Allgate East. Alright, just coming into the centre, here is Allgate Station. And Allgate means Old Gate, so from Roman times, this was one of the gates into the original city of London. Some buses there. So I went through a light. I think I missed Brick Lane. So as you can see, we're in the city now. It's come right up into Allgate. 
again. This was like a ghetto growing growing up. But anyway, so I'm trying to make my way to Tower Hill. You can hear the church bell Sunday morning. Here is Fenchurch Street Station. I know it's on Monopoly. I have no idea where it goes. I'm going to see if I can buy my ticket here for Oxford. So more in the city here. I'm trying to find Tower Hill. I hope it's the left turn here because this is just going deeper into the city now. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just, well, I know where Tower Hill is. I can find it myself. Pulled up against a bus. That wasn't very safe. Okay, there's Monument. The Monument to the Great Fire of London. This is London Bridge. So I think I passed Tower Hill. I passed Tower Hill. So I passed Tower Hill and I'm on London Bridge now, so I'm going to do in reverse what my original plan was. My plan was to do Tower Hill and come back up London Bridge. To overtake all these tour buses. I think my tour is a lot better. Okay, so this is London Bridge. This is that. I think it's at the Shard. I don't know the names of these buildings. Okay, so there's London Bridge, the sign. There's the Tower of the Hill. So yeah, we considerably passed it. We're going to come back. I want to take a selfie, but this is a metal barrier. I'm stuck here. I have to cycle back to get my selfie. You can see more of the skyline now. Okay, let's get me bearing. So I am here. It says to go left to the Bank of England and the Royal Exchange, and then uh, Thread Needle, Leadenhall Market, and then we'll come back to Tower Hill. I think we're at the back of the Bank of England. So I have to go around. This is dangerous. So I'm going the wrong way. So I, that was the front of it. Not the way I remember it. Okay, so I just realized there were gears on this bike. I'm on the loose gear now. So the center of global financial extortion. We made it here and we shall be leaving. We were not amused some historic shopping mall, the Royal Exchange, we can't go in here. This is what I was trying to find, Leadenhall Market. So I'll take a selfie and then we can bike. Okay, it's a popular tourist spot, we're just gonna... I've never been here in my life, there's so many places in London I never went to. This is very bumpy because of the cobbles. Oh, there's the NatWest building. I remember driving by that. I guess we just never paid attention to this market. In the financial hub, there's the NatWest building, there's Everest. Dealt with those people. Okay, just a photo spot there, and I see the tower, because it's sort of going round and round in all these winding streets, so now I know where I am. Okay, so off with my head, I made it to the tower. There are like big crowded tour groups here. You can see this is one of the most touristy places. I'm not even in the crowds yet. And there's always washing hanging. We would always wonder when we were kids, like, why is there washing hanging from there? Make sure I don't hit anyone. It's 32 pounds to go in now. I went in for 10 pounds in the 1994. 
it's too crowded. We're just trying to get to the Maiden Tower. What does it mean? No bicycles. I'm bringing my bike. You're not going to stop me. It's Traitor's Gate. We'd always come and look here when we were kids. It's free to walk around outside. So I'm not taking the stairs, so we have to go all the way here to get back onto Tower Bridge. Okay, I'm not going to go on the road. I'm just going to stay in the pedestrian side so that I can take my time. It's a tower again. Okay, it's just very crowded here, obviously. Okay, it's going to open up here. Hard to bicycle here. Too many people. Okay, just getting off now. We're going to go down here to Butler's Wharf. This is already developed. So this is the old wharf district. And again, because of all the stairs, I had to take the long way around. So there's Tower Bridge. You have to take the stairs to come down. Instead, I came down from this street here. We're trying to go here to the wharf district. Resurrection of the Daleks DVD. Check this out. They have a before and after because they shot the 1984 episode here when it was all derelict and deserted and then they do a comparison how it's all rejuvenated now so you can watch that dvd resurrection of the daleks or i think it's resurrection the peter davidson one from 1984. so i can just bike up the road now now i've done all my filming and stuff so enjoy back to the Tower of London there's the skyline there so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video because I'm meeting my friend next so I have to find my way back to the meeting point so thank you for watching my video remember to check out my channel and check out my other biking videos from many places around the world there's a whole playlist there so thanks again for watching